cup, half-witted, scruffy-looking nerf herder. Hey guys, what's going on? Um, Benji here, uh, nerf herder. I finished up a personal build for myself, and I wanted to share. It's been a minute since I've done a video like this. I've done quite a few videos over the past uh, week or so of various themes like my uh, my collection. I did a whole, I did a two part where I was just playing around with some editing and making a couple a couple different things, and then I did a video build log of a 2.0 um, Star Killer build, and then my Jedi Fallen. And um, then that was really fun to do a couple different videos. But um, I have a bunch of things in the works, and there was one that I really wanted to get to for a while, and I was just waiting on a bunch of different parts, and um, I finally got it done. So this is another Scrap Flex. Um, for those who don't know what Scrap Flex is, there's different terms for it. People call it different things, but to me, and then I think to a lot of people, uh, especially in our you know group, we have a scrap saver showcase, which is you know scrap scrap flexes or really just any any scrap saver that you put together. But um, the idea behind a scrap flex, in my opinion, is just a bunch of scrap parts and graph flex inspired built, and that's pretty much what this is. But this is all from the 2.0 kit. So this one. Which um, has become one of my my favorite ways of doing this. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy it. I'm actually going to have to go and get the other one here in a second. Uh, but so the um, Graphlex, the Corbanth Graphlex 2.0 kit. Uh, I like to chop them up. I like to get them and I like to <laughs> just destroy them and make them into something else. So what this is. Is another rendition of um, I did a video of it a long time ago. Uh, my very first custom saber I ever tried to to attempt to do. Let me keep it down over here. Was um, I had a Corbant 2.0 kit that got thread locked. See, because right here's the threads where the lower body can twist off, and mine got thread locked. I was going to do a Star Killer, or no, no, I'm sorry, I was going to do a. Uh, a, a Graflex reveal for the Crystal Chamber. It locked up, so the reveal was no longer possible, and I was like, well, what am I going to do? So, um, I set it off to the side for the longest time, and it just sat, and then one day I was like, you know what, I wonder if I'm going to just go ahead and cut this and do that, and I made it um, very inspired by the TFU2, the Force Unleashed 2 um, save, concept art saver, where the control box is up higher and on the side and it's got like a little waist section and all that stuff so this is my next attempt at that book with a little bit more of an old republic feel to it this has a, a wood veneer grip that i did wood veneer um a very tricky process to do it's not the hardest it's just practice makes perfect um i've definitely gotten better hiding the seam on these but it's so tricky man it's hard to do you can spend hours trying to hide that thing but I just get it to where it's good enough for me and that's and that, that's how I roll so basically what I did was I cut the, the emitter the Graflex emitter goes all the way down to about here and I cut it up about two to give it this little waist section which feels great and then I took those two end cap pieces and I moved them down to kind of cap this area for a pommel look. Because the uh, Graflex body is not the same size as MHS. So you can't really get an MHS pommel in there. You can get an MHS adapter for the 2.0 to get a whole new body. But there, TCSS has been out of it for a while. And this was just, uh, I, I, this is the core band's body. I mean, this is the body you get. When you get a 2.0 kit, I mean, it's the exact same body as this. I took the grips off, and I slapped the wood veneer on there. I got, I got tape holding that down right now. So, <laughs> got a Golden Harvest V3 in there. And this uh, chassis is from Solo Sabres, off of Etsy, which is a... Uh, 
Jeremy's a really cool dude. Hooked it up. I um, had a mishap in my order, and he fixed it immediately. It was, didn't have to go that far out of the way. and hooked me up again, and I was like, dude, thank you so much. Really cool, dude. Um, Etsy's shop, Solo Savers. Check it out. He sells a couple different um, chassis options, which is pretty cool. And um, so, yeah, I have uh, – hold on. I'm going to go get that other saver, and then I'm going to cut the video. I'll edit all that out. All right, anyway, so this is what I was talking about with a second attempt. Much smaller because I don't have as big of a pommel, but same concept. They both have that clamp sitting up high. Very comfortable. Somebody one time was like, that looks like the most uncomfortable position ever. Not at all, homeboy. I'm right-handed. I feel like the clamp should be facing that way. So my thumb goes over there. I mean, that is, it's so freaking comfortable either way. Thoroughly enjoy it. Same with this one. I did get a pommel on here, but I have like an adapt uh, MHS piece that this is bolted to and that and it only threads in like a little bit so this pommel is not the craziest uh option but it worked for that one i didn't want to try a jerry rig another one so i just went with and i kind of like the idea of it being like a flat pommel uh, and so this is the first time i've done it um i immediately ordered more i was like yeah I need more. <laughs> so probably every glass eye that I get, I'm probably going to do this. This is a Kobachong Co 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 Red Garnet. I popped the, uh, the, oh man, I'm so prepared. I popped out the existing one that you get from your glass eye. This is like a smoked one. I think you have to have the smoke option in order to get that. So I popped that out. Right? And then glued in a new one. And I love the way this looks, man. So I saw this, obviously I'm not the first person to do this by any means. I'm not the first person to do a lot of stuff by any means. So if anybody comes in here like, hold on, so-and-so did that a long time ago, how dare you? Uh, I'm aware, dude, this is not like a all original something going on here. Uh, Jordan Eugenius did this back in the day. Um, Darth Alice, the uh, and Solo's hold with a scrap tech um, saber, putting that red garnet in there. It just looks so cool. And I haven't done it yet. A lot of people do it with shine through. But um, you can see in there, when the light hits it, you get that, just that cool red, man. And, um, and then, of course, once you weather the around it, and you know get some grime in there some dirt or not dirt but you know like it's your weathering in there i just did a water down like acrylic wash and that gets that black in in the area and, and then it just the contrast between that really shines uh so it really like makes it makes it stand out when you see that they're black and work but then when you get it right gleam your red comes out all right enough talking about this thing let's fire up Golden Harvest uh, V3 Smooth Swing. This is a very stock um, board. I haven't done anything to it yet. I think I even made the colors because you can have like a bunch of different. There's there's a couple different folders when you load it up. Which one you want? I think this is a very basic style of lights and effects. Um, I'll be diving into the Golden Harvest manual here. And really customizing this thing how I want to but for now I was like you know what let's do another video of Golden Harvest just pretty much out of the box for that thing all right this is the classic villain by my boy uh, Fonts by Fours Fonts by Fours Zay if y'all have paid attention it's a fancy channel uh, a fancy boy and he's by fancy stuff so well fancy kid um, classic villain it's a Vader font and I love this font so much might be my favorite one that he's done and i of course have it in green because i think this saber just belongs as a green 
the way that the, uh, I forgot, I turned this down, the brass side to get, or the glass side to get it brass. You can see it. And then the green and the brown. Green, brass, brown. It's my, it's my jam. There's your small swing. Love those accent swings. It's so aggressive. I'm gonna go ahead and put the blade in it, and then I'll talk about it later. Uh, or you know, show off the, the rest of it. Um, so I'm gonna go through some of the fonts real quick. So, uh, speaker I got from Johnny at uh, Custom Dark Wolf Sabers. Sure, y'all have seen um, Johnny. He makes great stuff. He's a distributor of the Golden Harvest and um, all around cool dude. So check out his Facebook page. Blade plug that I made. What up? I enjoy doing it. Seven eighth inch blade that I made. Oh, and by the way, people, I do all this. <laughs> I have some people in the, uh, I get comments and questions pretty often. Who did they install on that? Who did the weathering on that? Who did the blade? Who did the, me, I did it. They're for customs. I did it. It's me. It's all me. Unless somebody did a service for me and I say it in the video description, uh, um, you know, throughout the video, this is a one man show. <laughs> so. These sabers I customize, I cut, I did the wood veneer, I do the um, the cutting. Anytime I do like shroud work, for the most part, I cut that shroud. I drill, I tap, I do all of it, man. I'm freaking, I'm dancing over here, just doing a bunch of things. I install the saber. Me, me, me. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead and fire it up. So again, this is not... A, um, I haven't messed with it. Otherwise, I like to make the ignition speeds a little faster. Check that out. drag just point it down that's the localized lockup which I believe is pretty much random yeah it's random to where you get it I'm probably going to go and change the colors of the flash on clashes and all that stuff. Let's move on to the next font. Balance. Balance. I don't think this is balanced by K-Sith. Uh, I don't know who this is. Speaking of K-Sith, I got a couple fonts that I'm going to be, uh, gosh, I need a haircut. I got a couple fonts from K-Sith that I'm going to be reviewing soon. I'm very stoked about, I was always a fan of K-Sith. He reached out to me recently and, um, and, uh, yeah, I was like, dude, I would love to play with some of your fonts. So, very stoked about that. Stay tuned for some K-Sith font reviews. I got plenty of them. Cyborg. Oh, this one's crazy. Alright, so you can change the blade effects and the colors. So, the color you double tap, the blade style you just press once. 
see now we got like a little different animation going on there. Very interesting. Flicker. This color is bright. There's some white flickering mixed in with that one. This blade is dancing all over the place. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. It's kind of like a rain blade, in a way. And if I think this is the right font, the power down is really cool. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the power down is just... crazy. I forget the effects that the Golden Harvest already has. Daddy issues. Daddy issues? <laughs> Let's get a different mission on that bad boy. Again, Fonts by Fours. Just one of my faves. the Golden Harvest video that I did when I for installed one for the first time. Um, I have a few Golden Harvest now. Uh, I'm just going to get into learning how to do it uh, as far as like the editing of the fonts and the blade effects. But one thing I didn't know, which people told me afterwards, which is really cool, is in order to go through the fonts, pressing the auxiliary button is how you go you scroll through the fonts. But pressing or uh, uh, holding it up Biocarbon. We'll advance you, holding the saber down and doing it. We'll go back. So you do have the option. You don't have to scroll all the way through. You can go, you know, up or down the font list. So was it Guardian? Did we already do Guardian? Yeah, we already did Guardian. Very cool. Cryocarbon. Cryocarbon, which is a repulse, I believe. <laughs> that was really slow and dramatic. Swings are super cool. Blasters. Brandon does awesome stuff. I don't know what this is, but I definitely love that classic sound. Drag. 
tip drag, you just point the saber down and hit uh, auxiliary. wave type function double tap the auxiliary and that gives you your uh yeah your force wave or whatever you have set it's crazy so yeah the golden harvest has a ton of uh features for like their blaster bolts do effects their lockups do effects uh blade effects like not only do they do sounds but they also activate some kind of uh blade function which is cool and, and it's throwing me off because I keep forgetting that this war does that. Son of darkness. Son of darkness. Which is like a Kylo. I may get some hate in the comment section. I'm not the biggest fan of the Kylo font. It's cool but Unless it's on a Kylo saber, it never really does anything for me. Eternal Prince. Eternal Prince is cool. And I think that's Jeremy Moon. Is that Jeremy Moon's voice? Jeremy said that he was a voice on one of the one of the fonts, I believe. And uh and, and I think that's it. Sounds like you, my dog. Alright. <sighs> Eternal Prince has an awesome sound. Uh like the hum. I love the hum. speed on that. Love the smooth swing. The smooth swing is like it's this energy like wave that you're moving around. Super comfortable hills. Y'all don't even know. It's like a freaking which is Darth Maul. <laughs> Whoops. The Shadow. Shadow. These are all stock fonts, by the way, you guys. Stock sound fonts that come on this uh, the GH V3, the Golden Harvest V3. Shadows. Shadows. Did we do that? The classic villain. Back to the classic villain. One of my favorites, man. Aaron, this is one of my favorite sound fonts. Just that classic Vader hum. Those accent swings are nasty. Yeah, look at that. It looks dang good in the green. Maybe in the green. All right, cool. Got eleven pin. Over the 11 pins because I had extra ones and I was like, you know what? Why not? Normally I do a 7 pin connector. I know that some people will die hard, be like, you need to have 7 pins. I mean, I don't. <laughs> seven, or, or you need to have 11 pins. A lot of people will be like, you know, like the um, higher end connectors, I guess. Uh, 11 pins. Uh, pogo pins just dissipate more heat and current draw and 
it, you know, make the blade a little brighter, but I haven't really noticed that much of a difference. But, um, yeah, I figured why not, you know, I threw it in there and, um, if I have the extra pins, I'll do it, but I usually just go for seven. I don't see the biggest difference in performance or any of that stuff. I'm sure somebody would gladly show me a chart <laughs> and rub it in my face that I'm a fool or whatever, man. This is just how I do things. Uh, but yeah, guys, there you go, man. I'm super happy with that. I don't know how well you can tell. But, uh, probably too bright. But that blade plug is so much fun. I love doing these razor razor blade plugs. You can see in there. Oh, well, that looks terrible. <laughs> that looks dumb. All right. It does look pretty good in the dark blue, though. Dark deep blue. Classic four. Little cyan. Classic five. That's my E tan crystal color. The color before that. Classic six. Is like a purple. When I first started in the hobby, I thought purple was the coolest lightsaber blade color ever. Now I don't really care much for it. Pretty cool in yellow. All right, I was wrong. That looks pretty good in the yellow. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna wrap this up real quick. Um, by real quick, I mean a 30 minute <laughs> talk. Bulb. But yeah, wood veneer, weathered and done by me. Weathering, done by me. Install and customization, done by me. Um, the only thing I don't do is machine hilts. So, but yeah, look at that. Man, I'm just a sucker for that. Makes it feel, I don't know, more royal or something. Uh, I'm not sure. Love that red jewel in there. Alright, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. This might be my last scrap flex for a while. Uh, I got a lot of other projects to catch up on. Lots of other stuff that's not mine. <laughs> but uh, a couple more things on the list. And um, I'll keep pumping out some, some videos and some different content and whatnot. As long as you guys keep watching, you know, leave a comment, um, like, subscribe, share, you know, more the merrier. But that'll do it for this one, guys. Um, more coming. I got quite a few more projects. But um, I really enjoyed this one and I wanted to show it off. All right, guys. Well, that'll do it for this one. Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you. Scruffy looking.